Hello Internet and welcome to my son's bedroom. Today I wanted to talk about the design process for these arts and crafts display shelves. I built this project over 10 years ago for two of my sons, which is you know long before I started doing YouTube. I wanted to work through the thought that went into the design. For instance, you know, we don't want things falling off the shelf. So one simple little touch is to add this strip of wood along the front edge. It looks nice and it serves the purpose of keeping things from falling off the shelf. You know, we didn't want them fighting over things, so we made two shelves instead of one big shelf. So let me dig a bit deeper into the design. This was one of my first attempts at putting something together in SketchUp. It's kind of neat with the angular look of it, definitely a modern style. But after some reflection, I realized that what I really wanted was more of an arts and crafts style, so the angled lines had to go. I next came up with the design something like this. I like the straight vertical horizontal lines, uh, the brackets are kind of like corbels from mission pieces. I got the one side extended a bit lower so I can personalize it. And we can make the two of the mirror images of each other. But it, it was just too ordinary. You know, this looks like the sort of shelf that you'd get at some big retail giant. You know, all the boards are the same size, which I guess lends itself to mass production. But I want my stuff to look custom. I want it to look unique with all sorts of unique touches. So here is the final design that we settled on. It's similar to the second one, but it's had several tweaks. Most of these boards are a different size. You know, that's five inches wide. That's an inch and three quarter. That's three inches wide. This one's four inches wide. The brackets, well, yeah, those are all the same. So yeah, these are all a bunch of subtle touches, which I think go together to take an ordinary design and make it unique. So we wanted a way to hang things up, but we did want to mass a bulletin board. So I thought to work in a strip of cork here. You can buy 12 by 12 cork tiles at the local big box store. I bought some, ripped them to width, and then glued them together to make up a half inch thick strip of cork, which I could then glue into a dado here at the bottom of the shelf. So as I mentioned, this long vertical board is five inches wide. I thought it added some visual weight to the piece and just, you know, made it look unique and interesting. And it also gave me room for some extra touches because like I added this wrought iron looking hook which I think fits in with the arts and crafts and gives us again more places to hang things and I also found these walnut letters so I could personalize each of the shelves with uh, my son's initial. So in case you haven't figured it out yet I built this out of cherry. I finished it with a coat of shellac followed by some coats of polyurethane for protection and over the last 10 years it has aged to that beautiful reddish tone which is what you get with cherry. So hey guys, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this little dive into the design process. I hope you found something interesting and enjoyable. And if you want to see more like this, remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.